What's up guys, it's Nacho again. Today, uh, I'm bringing you some products from Angel 7 Industries, also known as A7 Industries or A7 Industries in Defense. Uh, it just depends on where you're finding them on social media. And I wanna start out by telling you guys, this is one of the coolest companies that I've ever worked with. I mean, like as far as communication and you know personality wise they're always calling me to check up on me make sure there's anything I don't need how I like the products if I have any suggestions stuff like that which I find to be super cool and they are out of Texas and let me show you what they sent me so they sent me three pairs of gloves and I'll start out by saying all three of these pairs of gloves these three fingers right here you can see the the black fabric on those those are all touch screen compatible. So, you know, cell phones, tablets, whatever, which to me is a big issue, you know, when you have a glove that your phone won't read and you've got to take your glove off every time to use it. So having that touch screen compatibility, I have no idea the technology that comes with that. How, how do you make it so it, it reads fabric? I don't know. Yes, yeah, science. But this is the outlaw glove. You can see that uh, the cradle right here in your thumb webbing is reinforced. You've got this uh, grippy textured material over all of that. Uh, this padding here is super squishy. I mean, it's not like a hard plastic, so when it hits something, it really absorbs that impact, which is cool. Feels like there's a leather on the tip of the finger here. Um, you've got some ridges here on the flexibility of your middle knuckle there I dig that some more leather right here um, in the past with gloves that I've had when you're pulling this on and off uh, this this rubber bit right here tends to come unsewed I haven't worn these long enough to know if that's gonna happen that is a slight concern just because of previous glove use let me wait for this airplane to fly over Sorry guys, I'm by kind of between an airport cross area, so we get a lot of noise from that. But as far as break-in, these feel super flexible, you know, out of the box. Uh, thumb is a little bit stiff, flexing. I think, I don't know if that'll break in or what, but rest of the fingers. Trigger finger is always a huge concern of mine. That is the biggest when I when I get a glove that I'm possibly going to be shooting with is your trigger finger is there flexibility uh, on these outlaw ones definitely has the flexibility there's not a ton of extra sewing around the fingertip which drives me crazy because you can't wrap that fingertip around your trigger because that all that junk gets in the way so yeah this is the outlaw one I dig the color let's move on to the next pair now these are the Hellfighter and these have a lot more leather. All of this is leather. Uh, you don't have the, the grip, you know, the grip fabric that you do on those. It's got the Nomex material. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw these ones on. Now these ones feel like you might wanna break them in a little bit more. They're a little bit stiff, but that's because you got that cowhide leather. Um, I'm not, I don't know about having this on the trigger finger it is a little bit stiff I'll tell you that uh, one thing I like it's got this thick padding right here I mean that's that's gonna take a, a bunch of beading on there but I do like that there is you know leather on this if you're you know fast roping stuff like that if you're gonna be really intensive on the the palms of your gloves for any reason um, these are probably the ones that you're gonna want to use that is, that's really thick leather. You got the Nomex on here. Uh, it says that these, let me double check. That's not the one. It says touch screen compatible. Let me see if that's on all the fingers. It just says touch screen compatible. So I really don't know how that works. Somebody explain how the touch screen compatibility works on gloves. Yes, yeah, science. Yeah, these are the Hellfighter. I really like this. Uh, I would call it a ranger green Nomex color on it, but these these are made to take a beating, you know, palm wise. On the knuckles, uh, there's a little little bit of padding on the on the top here, but I mean I wouldn't be 
punching anything hard with it. Um, no padding on the knuckles. All of your impact resistant stuff is on the palm. So yeah, I mean, roping out of anything, climbing, whatever. I think this is gonna be the one you want. Let's move on to the next one. Now this is the Kinetics, uh, Kinetics FR tactical glove. Again, touch screen compatible, Nomex flame and heat resistant, BioFlex armor, textured nylon grip and impact foam. And these have been my favorite out of the three. These are the ones, I mean, I've already got them a little bit dirty because I've been using them for stuff, but let's throw these suckers on. Uh, right off the bat, what I like, I like the look of these ones. They just look badass. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, they look cool. You've got some textured grip throughout the entire uh, bottom of your hand. You've got some cushioning here. Not quite as much as the Hellfighter with that leather, but there is some cushioning there. Uh, fingertip wise, the flexibility is pretty good. And across the whole top of your hand, all of these rubber pads, again, they're, there's the same squishiness as the other ones, so they absorb quite a bit of impact. They're not like a hard plastic. On the top of this finger here, you've got a good, it feels like gel. There's this little pad here, feels like a gel got the reinforced cradle in your palm but yeah these are the ones that I've been rocking for you know just randomness training stuff like that I really like these ones I like the flexibility of the trigger finger uh, I like the top armor I mean when you feel it I can't I don't know if that does it justice but the tops of these are really just a squishy rubber and it really absorbs any impact that you're gonna put them through so these are the Kinetics FR. Uh, you can see a little bit, there's a little bit of separation, a little bit of tearing here in the web of my palm. I've been a little bit rough on these, but yeah, just throwing that one out there. But yeah, these ones are probably my favorite. And then the Outlaw, just because of the flexibility in the fingers, it's, it's not the hard leather. Although I do like these ones because they're leather. So yeah, these ones I think might not be quite as scuff resistant as the leather because it is, you know, a synthetic, yeah. Um, on these ones, I mentioned the Velcro on other gloves pulling off of that material. These ones I feel like are really sturdy. You've got, it's not just right here on the tab you've got this, this whole piece right here is a solid piece and it seems like it's sewn on there really sturdy so I'm not real worried about that coming unsewed but yeah one other thing I got to tell you guys about I know some of you see me tag these in other posts these are their Ranger blackout uh, glasses uh, total ballistic rating I've heard they they've taken shotgun shell you know hits from 20 yards and the, the BBs didn't go through. One thing that is a major thing for me right now with these glasses is they are fog proof. So, you know, you have to run in somewhere, you know, you got your mask on, public events, you've got your masks on, and I've worn other glasses and they fogged up. I left these in my wife's car and I had to throw some of my other glasses on and started fogging up immediately and I was like, oh, where's my A7 glasses when I need them? So you, you know, you got your mask on and all of that humidity from you breathing goes up in your glasses. You don't get any of that with these glasses. That, that is like huge for me right now because of all this COVID stuff. So yeah, let me show these off a little bit. Really dig these glasses. And they've got some other, some goggles that I'm going to show you guys in another video. This got uh, the elastic band that goes around the back and it fits really good under ballistic helmets. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna throw it into a video, video later on, but yeah. So we have the Outlaw gloves, the Hellfighter gloves with the leather, and the Kinetics FR with, uh, seems like more than the rest, it's got the knuckle padding on those and it's got a lot of dexterity in the fingers, so. 
that is it for today, guys. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed, liked, followed the page, really appreciate it. I love uh, communicating with you guys. So if you have some gloves that you really love that you'd like me to get my hands on and do a review on, I'd love to hear about it. Um, yeah, tell me which uh, gloves out of these three you think you would prefer. Yeah, freaking awesome. So I'll catch you guys next time.